You know, many people ask us over all these years of traveling, where's the best pizza in the world? Which country has the best pizza? You might think we'd answer, ah, oh, Italy, New York, Chicago. But no, if you thought that, you're a stupid idiot and you're wrong. The best pizza is obviously Pizza Hut in China, and we're gonna show you why. Come on. And here is the best coffee in the world, Tim Hortons in China. Tim Hortons! I'm trying to find my way to the best pizza in China, and I think I have discovered a clue. The... Oh, it's right there. If we follow these pesky little steps, we might be able to find the best pizza. Huh? There's another one. Holy nuts, go, 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 go. All right, one down. There's another one. Go, 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 go. And we're here. And my eyesight isn't good enough to see another one, so let's go home. See ya. Wait. Wait. It's an arrow. It wants us to go this way. This is what my life has led to, eating Pizza Hut in China. What a success. Oh, it's here. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Guys, we just discovered this place and our food's already here somehow. How? How? In China, apparently, the Pizza Hut company wanted to make it more than just fast food pizza. They wanted it to be like a formal, fancy event. So they packed this menu with some of the most bizarre pizzas I have ever seen. Along with different rice dishes, pastas, steak, beef wellington. I'm Gordon Ramsay. They have tiramisu cake. I mean, this thing is loaded with like actual fancy things. Insane. I'm very excited to try this thing. Hopefully the ordering went fine. Uh, it's always hard to order a little bit when it's in complete Chinese. And the translations are very strange. For example, this was called something about tea fighting violently. And uh, that's what I'm drinking. So let's try some violent tea because it's a very violent night tonight. Yep. That's just kind of a basic iced tea. Not sugary, very tea. I don't know where the violence starts, but it's disappointing. That is not violent in my mouth. Okay, I think some things might have got messed up in our ordering, but here's our food going on down below. It's pretty insane. I tried to get a durian pineapple pizza, but I think only the pineapple came out on top of it. Meat hardcore pizza along with that, which uh, sounds epic just by that name. Bacon and potato egg pizza, which is fantastic every time. And then we got a Korean fried chicken pizza. And one of these has a special cheese stuffed crust, like zishi or something like that. And then the other one is a sausage stuffed crust, along with looks like sausage rolls, plum fries, and some popcorn chicken. All right, guys, I'm gonna start with a, just a normal Hawaiian pizza, because this was the number one seller. So I got a small one of these, just because it's number one. It's solid. Hawaiian pizza, this isn't everyone's favorite. Some people call it a blasphemy, but it's not that bad. And being the number one seller, actually got a different crust on this one, the normal crust too. It being the number one seller in China is very surprising, but also it's really good. What do you give that Mr. Dave Portnoy? Mm, one bite, everyone knows the rules. I really like the crust. Dave Portnoy would hate this crust because it's thick and doughy, but I like thick and doughy crust because I like bread. I'm gonna give this a nice number one in China. 8.2. Statements have been made. So what's this other stuff gonna be like? Oh my gosh. Shall we start with what was supposed to be the durian? Let's see if it's durian or not. Do you smell durian? Yeah. Oh yeah, that smells like durian. Oh gosh, I'm scared. So let's go. Go in. Mm. That's durian. Oh, that's weird. It's so strong. That's really weird. I don't mind it overall, but as a pizza, I don't like it much. Oh, I just got a huge bite. Oh. Yeah, the durian bite, if you get a bite of durian, it's too much. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so strong. Luckily, there's only like one glob of durian on each, but ooh, oh, I don't know about that one, Wolf. Wow. Seems kind of sus. Let's try the crust at least. Mmm, wow, mm. that's a good crust. That's a really good crust. Wow. This last durian piece might be a cut off the crust piece. <laughs> uh, I say that. That is way better than normal stuffed crust. It's buttery. The bread is nice and crunchy, firm on the outside, soft on the inside, with the super super buttery mozzarella inside. Mm, pizza rating? 4.3. I'm gonna agree. Yeah, let's try the meat pizza, baby. Why is this slice so large? Why is this so big? 
What the heck? This is like a third of the pizza. This is the meats. What did I say? Hard meat hardcore. hardcore. Let's go. Oh, okay. There's, there's stuff inside of the cheese. Now we're talking. The sauce tastes different here than Pizza Hut sauce. Mm -hmm. The pizza sauce. On the website, it said they altered it to Chinese taste. I'd say it's a bit sweeter. The meat flavors are pretty solid. It's not as crazy salty as like a meat pizza in the U.S. would be. Oh. Again, a bit sweeter. I like how thick this dough still is whilst being a stuffed crust still. Because usually true. stuffed crust makes it so thin that it just flops. That's a solid meat pizza. My rating of the meat hardcore is a hardcore 7.9. Ooh. I will give it an 8. Pretty good. Yeah. Gotta yeah. one-up me like that. Just gotta do it. Now we can move on to a chicken popper. Let's just pop one of these chicks. They're very dark. They don't seem super crunchy on the outside. They smell really peppery. Chicken popper. Oh wow, they're very soft. soft. No crunch. At all. I don't like the texture much. Flavor is okay. You wouldn't think that was chicken if you're eating that. It's really soft. Not great. I'll give that like a 5.8 for five. a chicken popper. I'll give it a 5.5. Five. Not great. Weak with the chicken game, Pizza Hut. On to the next. This all came out to like 2 after the Alipay uh, fee. It was like 2.36. So that's pretty expensive actually. It's our most expensive meal in China so far. We had a scare right there. We thought the footage just died. <laughs> Our GoPro is really weird. We bought it in Japan. What the heck, Japan? We're onto the new crust now. We're onto the sausage crust, so things are getting a whole lot different here. We're moving on to the Korean fried chicken pizza. Which is interesting because it just looks like fried chicken, and then they throw on mushrooms and bell peppers. What makes this Korean? There's some sort of red sauce on it. Wait, it speaks. That's why. I don't say all. Oh, oh my gosh. It's Korean. Ding this, mother. I like the peppers on the pizza. The chicken broth is pretty tasty. It's a little bit of a spice to it, a little kick. Yeah. Actually a pretty good slice. The chicken that's on here is way crunchier than the actual chicken poppers. Yeah, why? And now for the sausage crust. Let's go. Well, the sausage is so thin. Okay. Oh, it's sweet. It has Chinese spices in it too, like a Chinese hot dog. It's kind of the thickness of the uh, sausage I had at a Chinese restaurant. It kind of like pushes weird and it's a little sweet. So it's like a Chinese ham sausage. So, so far what we've noticed is all these pizzas have a lot of sweetness to them. Typically on American pizzas, they're usually saltier. It would have been interesting if they would have done the sausage crust and with cheese. cheese. Yeah. yeah. That would have been better. This pizza is decent. I do like the spice on it. I would give this one 8-1. One. I'll give it an 8-3. I think, and the crust, I would give a 7.5. I'll give it like a 7.2. I don't think I would choose this over a normal crust, and there's no way I would ever choose it over that delicious right right there. The mozzarella crust is too good. Mm, so good. Now we have more, some more sides to try here. These are called plum fries. All I've ever wanted to do is eat a plum fry. They look like sweet potato fries. Boink. Whoa. Ooh. They have the texture of a sweet potato fry but the outside has that fruitiness. And it's a little sour, like a plum. Wow, that is so interesting. Once you bite into it, it tastes like a sweet potato fry. I like it. I like it too. Not as good as a sweet potato fry. It's one of those things where it's two things that are good and when they go come together, they're just okay. They're not better together, they're just. I think it's pretty good. I will give it like a, I wanna give it like an eight two. And I give like a good sweet potato fry, like a nine. I give that a six one. Six one? He doesn't like the plums, guys. I want to see the inside. See, the inside's orange. And the sweet potato, plum is purple. They're okay. I like them. They're not as good as the McDonald's in Taiwan sweet potato fries. Now we have what might look the most appetizing out of everything. It's just a breadstick shoved with sausage in the middle. I'm assuming it's going to be very similar to the crust. Definitely. Just it's a little different of bread. It kind of looks like literally a breadstick or like a pita, kind of. We've connected. I like this bread more. I like it less. It's okay. It's just bread and a little saucer in the middle. I'd give it like a, I'd give it like a six, eight. I thought this was gonna be the best thing on the planet. Oh, really? And it was disappointing. The only person you have to blame for those expectations is yourself. And now the finale, an egg pizza. It didn't even say egg on the menu. It was just potato bacon, but there's egg. So is it more of a breakfast pizza? I would guess so. We'll see. I mean, we got everything. We got sausage, potato, bacon, egg. Wow, look at that. Thickness from the side. It's thick. It doesn't even look like there's much soft in here. It smells interesting. It literally just straight up smells like an egg. Ready to egg this mother? Touch tips. Oh. Really sweet again. Wow, it's a different sauce. Really good. That is like a breakfast sandwich. I'm surprised, but the fry on top works. 
I like it. Oh, the bacon's pretty yummy too. That one's really good. I don't know why, but this might be my favorite one. I can't tell you why. It's just a weird combo of starchiness, sweetness, savoriness. That just works. It's because you haven't had breakfast in a while. That's true. Apparently in China, they really love to eat breakfast. It's like the most important meal of the day. According to online, but nothing we've read online has been true so far. And uh, we haven't eaten breakfast once because we're always up so dang late. We're doing the same thing right now. Heck yeah. This is really good. I'd give that an 8-8. Eight, eight. I'll give it an 8-5. It's very interesting. This is like something I'd want when I'm not craving pizza. Yeah, it's not a pizza to me. Eat this in the morning for breakfast. It's like a, it's literally like a breakfast sandwich, but it it's is. flat. Did you ever try this? The starchy sausage roll McLovin? Wow, that's the best way to eat the crust. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. That upgrades the crust a lot. They should stuff it with eggs in the sauce. And that is everything we got. Pizza Hut, very fancy here. The one we went to is specifically combined with some B restaurant. Odd. But I know in other places in China, Pizza Hut is literally like a fancy restaurant. Like they have like a lobby and all this like fancy stuff. But here, you know, like the basement of a mall for the McDonald's right there. That's what I'm loving. Ah, uh, me too. Yeah, we'll give you some more thoughts after we finish this meal. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of food. This is from Pizza Hut. Just kidding, guys. I cheated on Pizza Hut with the Mackey Shack. <laughs> that became gold. That Pizza Hut was interesting. It was pretty good. Very weird stuff. I can call it fracking delicious. Fracking full as nuts now. We're full of unique, very sweet pizzas. I feel like I'm going to explode. But I had to get ice cream still. Like <laughs> it sounded good. It's gonna help you explode even quicker. And this was five. That's very cheap for ice cream. And now I'm gonna shove it into the cone until it explodes. Ready? Then you <laughs> loop it. Oh. This is a strap. Up, 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 and then we just keep doing that over and over. All right, we're gonna watch the whole thing. That thing's stuck. It's like a table. You could put a table. You could put food on there. Now watch. Oh, the bottom's cold now? Watch. Oh, oh it's stuffed. Stuffed. Just like us. Stuffed. Pizza Hut in China. Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut. Peanut butter, chocolate flavor. Goodbye.